Hello brothers and sisters. Today I wanted to talk to you about a, a sermon I have written at, or teaching called What Are You Breathing? What Are You Breathing? Uh, Proverbs 6, 16 says There are six things uh, the Lord hates, seven which He detests. And one of those is a false witness who lies with every breath. And him who sows strife among brothers. So every breath lies coming out. Psalm twenty seven twelve says, Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. You can breathe out love, peace, or you can breathe out hate, violence, or you can breathe out um, lies so no one holds their breath to talk you talk with your breath uh, we have this Armenian saying uh, he's he, look at him he's just breathing out poison he's breathing poison he, look at him, he's breathing lies uh, or poison so breath and your words come together and they make something but even if you don't speak it and you just breathe it, it's also making something. Um, because you can have good breath or bad breath. Even in the natural, we go, oh, it's got bad breath. What's the bad breath coming from? One, not taking care of his teeth. Two, the problem is what you're eating. If you're eating bad food, you're going to get bad breath. Just with same with the spirit. If you're eating bad food, you're going to get bad breath. <sighs> Galatians 1.8, Paul said, Take heed what gospel you hear. If anyone comes and preaches a different gospel, cursed be a man. Cursed be the person who preaches a different gospel than we do. That's what Paul said. Um, so take heed what kind of gospel you're listening to. Too much grace message will give you cavities. Okay, we need to hear the full gospel. The whole, you know, sweet, sour, spicy. <laughs> Sometimes we need some hellfire mix to fear us up, to put some fear in someone and go, Ooh, I don't want to sin. Too much grace will catch you, will throw you in sin. Okay, so you want to breathe out, uh, you will breathe out what you speak, what is in you. Mark 4.23, Jesus said, take heed what you hear. John 15.7, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. So, when his words abide in us, that's what we'll speak out and breathe out. But those things, Matthew 15, he says, But those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart. They defile a man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulterers, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. What comes out of your heart will come out of your mouth, your breath. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, say they, and his heart is not with thee. But Proverbs 23, 7, As he thinks in his heart, so is he. So if you're breathing out poison, guess what? You're poison. You know, you can't be godly and just breathe out poison. It's not going to work. Salt, salt, as in says in James, the salt water and the sweet water cannot mix. They cannot come out of the same fountain. Uh, in the book of James, he says, um, James chapter 3, verse 10 says, From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be. So we should not be cursing and blessing out of the same mouth. You can't breathe those two. It won't mix. It just doesn't mix. Okay. Uh, God gave what he had. 
So what did God give us? What does God have? What does God breathe? God gave what he had, which is life, and all things pertaining to life. Genesis 2.7 The Lord formed man out of the dust of the ground, and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. God was so filled with life because he is life. He breathed and went in the nostrils of Adam, and he started to live. John 20.22 20, when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus breathed on the disciples and he said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Job 32. Here's an interesting one. It says, I am young in years and you are very old. Therefore I was afraid and dared not to declare my opinion to you. I said, age should speak, the multitude of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man, and the breath of the Almighty gives him understanding. The breath of the Almighty gives us understanding. Uh, older men are not always wise, nor did the age always understand justice. We'll leave that one for a different uh, sermon. Second Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is God breathed. And where do we get wisdom? From God's Word. Where do we get truth? God's Word. Knowledge? God's Word. All these things are in the breath of God. All Scripture is God-breathed and is valuable for teaching the truth, convicting of sin, correcting faults, and training in right living. The breath of God has given you is the breath of life. The breath God has given you is the breath of life. But we can use that same breath for death. Did you know even Jesus will use this, uh, his breath to destroy in the last day? Well, let's start with Proverbs 18.21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So with your tongue, with your breath, you can create life or you can kill. 2 Thessalonians 2.8 when the lawless one will be revealed, who the Lord will slay or put to death with the breath of his mouth. Jesus will put to death the lawless one with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Wow. So what kind of breath do you have in you? This is what I want to ask you. What do you have in is what you're going to day, uh, breathe, li breathe daily. What are you breathing daily? Depression, oppression, sickness, hate, strife, adultery, fornication? Or are you breathing what God is breathing, which is life, mercy, grace, joy, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, I don't know about you, but I want the breath of God. Father, we ask for a fresh breath from you. Breathe on us the Holy Spirit. Breathe on us life, gentleness, kindness, mercy. We thank you for your breath. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope this message blessed you.